a bit of an update with my washing machines, tumble dryers, and washer dryers. Well, washer dryer. Well, actually, no, there are two washer dryers in our property now. We'll get to that in a moment. And uh, my Zanussi is currently plugged into the extension lead leaving from the house because my RCD in the shed cannot handle more than two appliances, and I had three dryers running. <sighs> But yeah, I've got this so I can run more than two machines at a time. So if I... Because I've only got a 16 amp CD and it can barely handle two washing machines or two dryers or one of each. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Any more than that, it will trip. So... Now all my machines are now finally in a fixed order. So they're not going to be moved around constantly anymore. Let's have a look at them. So candy... You know this machine. Oh, hang on one second. My nose is decided to run a little bit. I don't have a cold, but, you know, hay fever. <sighs> Very annoying. I don't have a cold, thank goodness. But yeah, the tape on there to hold this control panel in place, because... Yep, this machine's falling to bits. Again, it's falling apart. It's getting worse. I mean, the drawer doesn't even sit flush. And wasn't in properly either, apparently. Oh, ah, there we go. Now it's in. So, yeah, it won't go all the way back anymore. So, that's not great. What is great, though, is it is actually fairly clean in here. Which is good. So we're looking there. Oh, the top of that's not very clean. That needs to be cleaned. But other than that. The machine's still working. Now the cycle I normally use is white. Uh, 40 degrees. For my normal clothes. For towels or bedding. I usually use 90. Or 60. And this does not actually spin at 1600 RPM, sadly. But, you know what I mean. But, <coughs> excuse me. Now the door seal is a little bit offset on this. Which isn't, which isn't great, but what is good though is that is actually quite clean in there. The drum, it's got some dents on it. Bearings are still good though. And the uh, spider's all good and everything. So the machine's in good working order. However, if I excuse me, shed mess. The machine's very rusty. And it's got black cover because this thing is bent because the pump's all out of place. And I've, had, I've super glued some more bits on there to try and help it hold on a bit better. Even so, it doesn't hold on very good. So that's not great, but what do you. And the, oh, also the candy logo is nearly completely rubbed off again. This is its second drawer front now. These candy logos always rub off. Think. It's not great. <laughs> now my Hoover dynamic next. The drawer is a bit more dirty. There's a bit of powder left over. The fabric conditioner of it is G. But at least this one goes in all the way. And uh, it's even worse. It's even worse in there. The machine does work. It's had a new door recently. Um, this door was given to me by Harrison Thomas. You know Harrison Thomas. Um, I met him up with him recently. He gave me a new door for this. Though the door glass wasn't correct. Here's the door glass it came with. No, the door glass, it was already on this machine so i just switched that out uh, the door glass out with the one that my old door had but it's a nice new door on there 
because around here it was a bit cracked on my old hoover door but this one's in good shape and i'm like and unfortunately the door seal's not as clean on this one but it's right at least the door seal is mostly in, in place properly it's a little offset Unfortunately, the drum has got a bit of scale on it. And I've got some citric acid coming to clean this out, hopefully. The bearings on this are a little worse for wear than the candy. They do rumble a little bit. There's no play though, which is good. And a spider. The spider's fine. So, <clears throat> that's that one. My Indesit. This machine's four years old now. I've had this brand new since 2020. Unfortunately, the drawer doesn't quite go in all the way, but and that's a bit dirty in there. I need to get this clean. And yeah, it's a bit mang. Oh, yuck. That's very dirty up there. I really need to give that clean. <laughs> Machine does work, though. I usually use program one with 40 degrees, 1400 spin, sometimes 60, sometimes 90, depending on what I'm washing. I'm just going to leave them all up, the dial facing up for the presentation of the video. This door hinge, unfortunately, is getting a bit loose. The door seal, unfortunately, is a little offset, but it is, but it is, um, clean. It'll be bowed, but I think that's normal on indices. It's pretty normal. Bearings are in good shape, and. It's all in good shape. Machine's working, um, but yeah. Now my hot point washing machine. Have a look. Oh dear, it looks like there's a bit of washing powder it didn't take. Unfortunately, the drawer's got this broken piece. I mean, I could have asked Harrison for a new drawer, but never mind. I did get this, though is the liquid thing and uh, in there it's not as bad still not the cleanest though and unfortunately this drawer's a bit broke let's push that back in place doesn't affect it though really oh god why can't i close ah it's because that was swing out Excuse me. This machine does work. Yes, I know it's a bit dirty on the outside, but whatever. I normally use whites on this. Door is a bit scaly, unfortunately. I need to clean that. And the drum's quite scaly on this as well. Door seal, relatively clean. A bit monkey. Hey, at least this one's perfectly centered. The drum is very scaly, unfortunately. The bearings seem to growl a little bit for some reason. But there's no play. It's been like this ever since I got it. It's never gotten any worse. The spider's all good and everything. So, yeah. My Beko drawers fairly clean except the fabric conditioner compartment. Uh, that's not too bad in this one actually. That's not too bad. Yep. One thing that does annoy me with this machine is it does preset to twelve hundred.
Yeah. Inside the... This one's not too bad for scale. This one's really nice. Uh, let's have a look at the door seal. Unfortunately, there is some scale on the door seal, which isn't great, but... Now, unfortunately, I think there's a little bit of play in the drum. But... Sounds fine when I really spin it. Spider's fine, though. My logic... Now, I have no idea where to store this other than in here, but then where do you store it when you use washing powder? I just store it on top of the machine. There's inside it. Not too bad. Now, now you might notice cotton spot is not on the list. Why do you? Is only use, use cotton ninety, reduce the temperature down to forty. It's two hundred minutes long, which isn't, which isn't great, but it is what it is. Have a look inside the door seal. Pretty clean. Same thing as with the hot point. It's not as bad, and no pain in the bearings. The spider's all good and everything, but the concrete block is loose, like most vestals get. Yeah, it's a common problem on vestal made washing machines. But other than that, it worked fine. Samsung. There's my Samsung. And that one's actually really clean. That's not bad. Now, this is not the original dial. Here's the, here is the original dial. All the chromes all come off that. The, the, this dial is nice. However, this doesn't quite match. Harrison gave me this dial, but it doesn't quite match. Because this bit was black and it's grey on this, and I have no idea how to swap that. So, but it overall looks better. And the Samsung dial has actually come off really easy. Just give it a good firm pull, like that. And then to put them back in. So that's the old one. Doesn't. I mean, that match is better, but this does not look great. Machine works. Door's a bit scaly, which isn't great. Oh, just hit the stool and set on. Door seal, a little bit scaly. The drum's quite scaly on this. Yeah, spin break. I'm just gonna unplug the machine quickly. Excuse me. So that for some reason this stay it stays working for a bit even after you unplug it. But now it's unplugged. It does zap for some reason, but the bearings are okay. No play. Spine is all good. Apparently Samsung spiders do snap quite often, but it's not happened to with mine yet. Hopefully it doesn't. Plug, just plug the machine back in. It's the new seed. Now this one's quite famous for tripping the RCD. Maybe a little... Yeah, this one's relatively clean. Let's have a look in there. Yeah, it's not too bad in there. This machine spent ages and ages with a non-working dryer unit, but, you know, it's working now. The door's not scaled that much, the door seal. 
It's quite dry because this machine lasted a drying cycle. Drums have got a bit of scale on it, but... Unfortunately, the bearings are a bit rumbly on this machine. No play, though. <laughs> and the spider. Spider's fine. Don't wrong with the spider on this. Bosch. Uh, straw's fairly clean. That part not as clean. Also not the worst. Machine works and all. Door, a little bit of scale. A little bit of scale and door seal. What's that? A headphone jack? From something? What? What's that doing in the washing machine? Drums are a little bit scaly. The motor bearings on this have gone, basically. Still spins. The drum bearings are fine. I think the suspension might be on its way out on this. Look how bouncy that is. But other than that... Spider's fine. Uh, there's a part of laundry in the way. Been tumble drying stuff a bunch. It's merely some powder spurges in there because this does not fill through the pre-wash at all unless you enable pre-wash. Unfortunately, one of the clips is broke there, but whatever. And inside there, that's fairly clean. This machine does work. Now, obviously the door's not gonna open because I just turned the machine off. You need the machine powered on and it will shut off when you open the door. Drum is very scaled on this machine, unfortunately. And it, the glass is... The door seal, not too bad, but the drum is very scaled. Don't worry, melee lovers. Melees can handle this. <laughs> um. Now, my you might remember my mum's logic tumble dryer. Well, it's mine now. It does work and everything. You can barely see it because the sun's kind of beating on it a little bit. Even though the sun's setting now. There's inside it. Here's the filter. Here's a double filter. And they both open up. Double sided, double layer filter on this dryer. This is a heat pump dryer. Um, and also, Harrison has given me this hot point condenser dryer. Yes, I've got washing powder on top of the tumble dryer, but. Yeah. Jump cut! Sorry, my. My friend called me just now. Anyway, back to this tumble dryer. <laughs> but yeah, condenser dryer. This thing does work. There we go, lights up. Now the motor was jammed on it, but if I just start it, sounds great now. I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want to waste energy right now. But. And you push that to open it. There's the drum. There's your filter. It's a single layer, single sided filter. Pretty basic filter. It does the job though, I suppose. <clears throat> now, heading out. I've still got the corpse from my old Beko tumble dryer, which I now regret destroying. Otherwise, that would be in my shed as well. Now, in the space where the tumble dryer was, as you guys know, 
It's not there anymore. It's just laundry baskets full of towels. <laughs> now, my mum's back over to me and me is now over here. Drawer's fairly clean. And that's not very clean. Machine does work though. Why did I change the spin speed? You should always use the highest spin speed. Yuck, there's a bit of hair in there. This machine is fairly... The drum's got a bit of dents, but it's not too bad. And it is missing the filter flap and the emergency drain hose. Because that thing was leaking and just kinked it, stop it leaking. So now you see... Oh, that one's... Oh, that softening compartment's not the cleanest. This one works too. Door looks a bit different than my Zanussi, even though it's the same model. Sort of like the door seal. Yeah, this last did a drying cycle as well. But unlike my Zanussi, bearings are fine. Oh, I didn't check the spider on the back of. Yeah, it's a bit plain, the drum. But the spider is fine. Uh, let's have a look at the Zanussi. Fine. There is a little bit of play in the drum, which is the drum also moves backwards and forwards, but I'm pretty sure that's normal on Zanussi's. My Zanussi doesn't do that though for some reason. Samsung dishwasher. But yeah, not but but yeah. It's not flooding the kitchen anymore. Which is good. So that's my update on appliances in and my house. Just gonna run back to the shed. I don't have time to show everything else because my phone battery is about to die. But hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a subscribe and bye.